Bem-vindos a mais um Culturando, edição especial de aniversário. Gente, um aninho de Culturando. Demais, né? Conseguimos nesse período, nesses últimos 12 meses, entrevistamos muita gente legal, muitos artistas incríveis. Eu conheci muitas histórias, muitas obras de arte, enfim, a gente conseguiu fazer um bom apanhado do que acontece na cultura aqui da região, né? A cultura efervescente, na verdade. E, para comemorar este um ano de Culturando, a gente está aqui no Sesc, para fazer a cobertura de uma exposição gringa que está aqui, gente, o Sesc, ó, contar, tá trazendo muita coisa legal aqui para Jundiaí. E a exposição é do Arno Mink, nem olha aqui. Consegue ver? Conseguiu pegar, Renatão? Ó. Então, gente, a exposição fica até dia 12 de junho. Então, vem aqui no Sesc, eu fui bater um papo com ele. Ele que é finlandês, mora nos Estados Unidos, tem obras pelo mundo todo. É, conversou com a gente do Culturando, ó, que honra! Com a gente, ó, oh, nossa primeira matéria traduzida, inclusive. Hoje tem, hein? Então acompanha a entrevista, o papo que a gente culturando bateu com o Arno e venha na exposição, né? Em tempos de digital, como o seu trabalho tem sido feito? É, a gente trabalha, hoje tem muito, muita câmera digital, o acesso à internet, como o seu trabalho de tanto tempo transita nesse, nessa nova tecnologia. For me, it's been very exciting uh, because I'm a, I'm a professor and I'm a teacher. I always knew that I needed to also master the raw file and the digital image, but I didn't want to use it because I wasn't sure that it it didn't mean that I, I wasn't sure that uh, it would always imply manipulation. And I don't manipulate, so I said, okay, I can't do this stuff because people are going to think I use Photoshop to change the picture. But then my son convinced me, uh, among other people, um, that the raw file is the negative. And if I can preserve the raw file, which I do on my memory cards, then I have the negative. But I have something even stronger than the negative today because I can... Uh, see the process as I'm making the photograph. I used to have to fly back from Finland and wait three weeks to see if something worked. Now I can see if it doesn't work, that I can try it a different way. So I can, I can refine my process. I can also set the timer so that I could go a little further out into an image and I'm not limited by the length of a cord. Uh, It opens up possibilities of variance, and my productivity in the last three years has been much greater because of it. And the pictures are, in any case, they're no easier. They're just as difficult, just as dangerous, just as much fun to try to make. So uh, it's a win-win situation for me uh, to have the raw file at my disposal. I still love my negatives, and I print from the negatives and uh, I, I sort of miss them. And my dark room misses me too. Hoje em dia, é, que, com internet, inclusive, a nudez é muito explorada, né? No seu, o seu trabalho aqui são 43 obras que têm o corpo e a natureza. Você acha que a nudez ainda é polêmica na arte ou as pessoas têm aceitado melhor? It's a terrific question, because we now I think we have to separate the idea of a nudist colony and people who want to be with other people who are nude from what I'm trying to do. I'm not a nudist that way. I'm not trying to say everyone should be nude. What I'm trying to say is that think about yourself as being nude. See yourself in the nude. And, and you will recognize that we're all pretty much the same. And we have our, you know, good things and we have our bad things. But we're all human and we're a common denominator. And, and I think it, it almost could spell a way for people to stop this violence towards each, each other and the inequality that we show to each other. If we, if we, if we put the nude up on a higher platform, um, and I sometimes think that the, that the church could be part of that. The church could elevate the nude and say, this is, this is who you are. This is how whoever I am, I created, we created you. And, and to give it some glory and not see it as, as, as related to violence, related to, to pedophilia, to horrible things, but see it in, its, its, in, in the temple that it is. 
And by putting it in nature, I think we even have a better opportunity to understand global warming, to know that this is heaven, this is the planet that we've been given with this body. And if we could accept that, I think even death wouldn't be so frightening, right? We would have an understanding of what this is all about. And so, so I do show my face every once in a while because I think it's really important that the viewer knows that it is me. If it says self-portrait, it's me. But, but I also don't always show it because it isn't just about me. It's about all of us. It's about our imagination, our dreams, and our struggles. Do seu primeiro clique autorretrato na década de 70 até o seu último autorretrato, mudou mais o teu olhar para a obra ou o teu clique mesmo? Nothing has changed. Nothing, absolutely nothing has changed because it's the same difficulty, it's the same impossibility, uh, it's still the struggle, you know, uh, f uh, for endurance. Uh, The, the thing that changes perhaps is, of course, the body, because it gets older. The background, I change the background when I travel. But, but you know, the, the image in the show of, of, of me on this tree limb, uh, or, you know, with my head coming out of a tree uh, root uh, trunk in, in, the, in the pond, uh, shows the same I individual and, and uh, It's one, uh, one straight line, and I, I would, I would ref, you know, maybe uh, refer to uh, you know, a, a painter that I really admire very, very much is uh, Giorgio uh, Morandi. And, and Morandi, Morandi had his, his studio in, in Bologna where there were windows on all the sides. I was in it once. And the light would just turn around. And, and it, so he didn't have to really go any place. He could continuously invent. And you know, you're looking at the one body that is in all these pictures right here. And so I have to invent with that, and that hasn't changed because I haven't changed. My imagination, I think, is at the same levels of, of sometimes the pictures are, are a little bit silly, or, and sometimes they're profound. And, and, and I'm open to all those parts. I don't, I don't deny a possibility for anything that comes to my mind. I'll say, I'll do it. I'll, let's see what happens. Uh, The, the lenses are still the same. I know them by heart. I can, I, can, I can put the tripod down, go into a spot where I think the image is going to be. That maybe has changed. I'm better at that. I, I know where I stand. Uh, but, uh, but otherwise, it's, it's more going to be, if you know, I'm hoping to make it a lifelong endeavor. And, and when it's over, I'm over, uh, that we would see no change at all but we would just see what is it to, to create a body of work that is one work, and yet every picture is different, and every picture is the same. Como funciona a curadoria? Os artistas que vêm para cá, eles fazem parte da rede SESC, passam por outros SESCs? Olha, é, na verdade essa é a terceira exposição né, que a gente traz nesse período de um ano. É mais ou menos a, a média que a gente pretende trazer, umas três exposições por ano. A curadoria ela se inicia dentro da própria instituição. Né? Nós temos dentro da programação técnicos que têm enfim, o foco do seu trabalho voltado para as artes visuais. E dentro dessa proposta educativa do SESC, as artes visuais, nessa unidade, ela tem vamos dizer assim, um privilégio de espaço. Né? Essa área ela é exclusiva para as artes visuais também, que é uma, é uma característica dessa unidade, não são todas que têm uma área como essa. Gente, confesso que esse culturando ficou especialíssimo. O nosso primeiro culturando em duas línguas. Bilingue está o culturando agora. Obrigada, Yes. Ó, vocês vão ver ainda que vai ter culturando inteiro traduzido, porque eu vou começar a falar inglês. Agora só vou fazer entrevista gringa, que agora, ó, um ano de culturando é chique. Agora só faço entrevista internacional. Tô brincando, gente. Ó, gostou? Curta, compartilhe, manda sugestão, manda like, manda amor, manda beijo. Vem à exposição no Sesc, aliás, frequente Sesc, gente, que tá ó, uma belezinha isso aqui, hein? Tá lindão, um ano de Sesc aqui em Jundiaí, fazendo aniversário junto com o Culturando. E a gente se vê na próxima. 
Ah, me persigam lá nas redes sociais, ó, tô no Facebook, tô no Snapchat, tô no Twitter, tô no Insta, tamo, tamo tudo lá nas redes sociais, tá bom? Então, ó, beijo, gente, até!